Hey friends, welcome back to We Do It Outdoors. Uh, today I am going to show you guys how I custom paint some uh, crankbaits. This is a 2.5 square bill. Uh, it runs uh, between 0 and 4 feet. Um, it has a rattle inside and it's got a little rattle weight in the front. Um, hear it but you can uh, you can use this as a top water it floats or it'll go down to about four feet so um, I'm gonna do a new color one I haven't uh, done before so let's see how it turns out I'm gonna start off with the house of color white for the base coat. Gonna get a couple nice coats on it. All right, let that sit. I'm gonna change out to a neon chartreuse. All right, I got my uh, chartreuse in. Now I'm gonna cover the whole lure in the neon chartreuse. I got that nice and even. Now I'm going to uh, use a little bit of the House of Color Nova Orange. It's a metallic color. All right, I got my orange in. I'm gonna start on the belly. Put a little bit of orange on the belly here. a whole lot just just a little bit and what I'm gonna do is start under the nose set it in here take it back I'm 
I'm gonna fade it just a little bit on the sides. A little bit on the tail here. take a little bit of purple it's a uh, it's a fine metallic purple all right I've got the purple in now I'm just gonna go over the orange uh, just a little bit Some orange showing, some purple. Now we're going to take a base coat black and make a little design on the top and a couple little shad dots on the side. Alright, we got this netting here. I use it a lot for like scale patterns and stuff, but I'm going to, I'm going to fold it up a couple times and it'll make a different looking pattern right here on the back. something a little different. And a little dot right here. One right over on the other side. Just 
like that. Black out the eyes a little bit. epoxy on it, put the eyes on it, and uh, I'll show you some really good pictures of it once it's all dried and looking shiny. Alright, went ahead and stuck, uh, stuck the eyes on there. These are Boss 3D eyes. Probably won't be able to tell real good until I get a, a real good picture of them. Probably not going to focus, too much shadow. But once I get it clear coated and uh, it all dried up, I'll get some really good pictures for you guys to post on here. It's going to look pretty sweet. Alright, now i got my epoxy in here. It's a two part epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. I use these cheap little, I don't know, paint brushes. I'm not sure where I got them. I've got a whole bunch of them because your paintbrush is pretty much useless afterwards uh, this stuff dries rock hard um, and also what I do before I put this on when I put the eyes on I put a little drop of super glue uh, makes it a little bit easier because this stuff is kind of thick and once you go over the eyes sometimes um, you can see how thick it is it wants to pull those eyes off so I find that you know just one little tiny drop of super glue put the eyes on wait about five ten minutes and you're good to go and uh, <clears throat> this stuff is self leveling so you don't have to worry you know too much about having brush strokes or anything like that in it it makes a nice smooth very strong finish uh, your the hooks I mean you'd have to cast thousands and thousands of times before it even starts you know showing any kind of wear so all right I think I've got it pretty pretty good here right. I'm gonna grab me a little glob not too much you always want to take the tape off too before you do this that's it and just paint it on just brush it on and you can already see the colors starting to pop out all the metallics will start to shine it's a lot better um, than using like automotive clear coat or anything because those hooks will just they'll just eat right through it so you spend a lot of time you know painting something like this custom painting and uh, you want you want it to last a really long time and I can go right over the eyes no problem make sure you get every part of it sealed and I will pull a little bit down on the bill um, a lot of people cover the whole bill if you've got a good lure you don't really need to um, I find that if you get too much on the bill it'll affect the way the lure swims so I try to avoid getting too much on the bill at all <clears throat> and this is a 30 minute epoxy so you've got about a good five to eight minutes of good work time with it but it sets up to where it's pretty much you can't do anything with it in about 30 minutes so you want to kind of go fast but you want to make sure that you're getting everything covered Mm -hmm. 
you don't want to put it on too thick because if it doesn't start to cure by the time you hang it especially if you don't have a rotisserie hanger um, this the epoxy will run down and then you'll have a nice big rock hard blob either on one of your hook eyes or running down the bill of your lure and that's no fun to try to clean up afterwards and then you gotta sand it and you end up running into a lot of problems that way and one good coat I mean that's all you need this stuff you know it's thick enough you don't have to put three or four coats on it you just put one really good solid coat make sure it's completely covered and that's enough it'll get little air bubbles in it but they usually pop but if not you can just go right over it with the brush and it'll take them all out like I said this is a, a self leveling epoxy so if you guys are seeing any of the little brush strokes in it which I'm sure you're probably not don't worry about it they'll come right out make sure I get the ends here so yeah it's a it's a fun little hobby make some extra cash on it um, if you're big into fishing and you know how much lures cost this is a this is definitely a cheap way to do it if you're gonna do it for yourself I mean as far as paint wise and having the lure but you know the the equipment can get pricey I don't have a high dollar airbrush it's just a cheapie I got off of eBay about eight years ago and it does me just fine for what I do all right here's a little spot I don't know if you can see them waves in it you don't have to worry about that all that'll all that'll level out but you can already see the big difference how much shinier it is turned out pretty cool not sure what I'm gonna name it I always name my lures um, if you guys would like to help me come up with some names go ahead and leave it in the comments and uh, if I like it next time I paint a lure I'll shout you out and tell you that I uh, I named it after whatever name you came up with. I'd like to get you guys involved a little bit. There it is. It's done. That's all there is to it. Not a whole lot. I mean, this doesn't have a whole lot of detail, but it's got enough in there where oh, I'm sure it'll catch some fish. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter in the description. Drop me a like if you enjoyed this. And don't forget to uh, you know, comment on a name if you want to come up with a cool name for it. Like I said, if I like it, I'll use it. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll get some pictures at the end of the video for you. Stay tuned until next time.